All in the Family was a hilarious comedy that ran on CBS from January 12, 1971, to April 8, 1979. It continued with Archie Bunker's Place. The show revolved around the life of a working-class bigot and his family. It broke ground in its depiction of issues previously not televised such as racism, homosexuality, anti-Semitism, women's rights, and impotence. It became the first television series to reach the milestone of having topped the Nielsen ratings for five consecutive years. It featured Archie and Edith Bunker, a working-class couple living in the Astoria section of Queens, New York. The entire Bunker family includes Archie, Edith, their daughter Gloria, and their son-in-law Mike Stevick. Archie Bunker was a working-class World War II veteran who was an outspoken bigot, but not hateful. Despite his bigotry, he is portrayed as lovable and decent, as well as a man who is simply struggling to adapt to the changes in the world. Edith Bunker was Archie's sweet, understanding, and naive wife. On the rare occasions when Edith stood her ground, she proved to be one of the wisest characters. Gloria Stevick was Archie's daughter who was kind like her mother but could display traces of stubbornness like her father. Mike Stevick was Archie's opinionated son-in-law. He was often referred to as Meathead by Archie. Gloria and Mike lived with Gloria's parents until Mike graduated from college. George and Louise Jefferson and their son Lionel were neighbors of the Bunkers. George was Archie's black counterpart, while Louise was a more assertive version of Edith. Henry Jefferson was the brother of George Jefferson. He lived with them and eventually moved to Chicago to start his own business. Maud was Edith's cousin. She was ultra-liberal and was one of Archie's main antagonists. Irene and Frank Lorenzo were the Bunker's next-door neighbors. Irene was a strong-willed Irish woman while her Italian husband was a happy homemaker and part-time salesman. Harry Snowden was a friend of Archie's and a bartender at Kelsey's Bar who continued to work there, after Archie purchased it and eventually became his business partner. Barney Hefner was another neighbor and Archie's best friend. Stephanie Mills was Edith's niece who was abandoned on the Bunker's doorstep by her father after Gloria and Mike moved to California. Archie Bunker was played by Carol O'Connor. Carol was an actor, producer and director whose television career spanned four decades. He went on to star in the sitcom Archie Bunker's Place and the drama In the Heat of the Night. Carol died on June 21, 2001 at the age of 76 from a heart attack. Edith Bunker was played by Jean Stapleton. Jean was a stage, television, and film actress whose career spanned six decades. She briefly appeared in Archie Bunker's place before moving on to star in more movies and guest star in numerous television shows. Jean retired from acting in 2012. She died at her home on May 31, 2013, at the age of 90. Gloria Stevick was played by Sally Struthers. Sally had her own spin-off called Gloria. She went on to do stage work, guest star in various TV shows and game shows, do voice work for several animated series, and was a spokesperson for different organizations. Sally is 73 years old and is still very active in the entertainment industry. Mike Stevick was played by Rob Reiner. Rob became a successful director while continuing to act. Some of the movies he directed are Stand By Me, The Princess Bride, Misery, and A Few Good Men. Rob is 74 years old and continues to act and direct critically and commercially successful films. George Jefferson was played by Sherman Hemsley. Sherman was a stage actor well known for his role in the musical Pearly. He had a successful spin-off show called The Jeffersons and later starred in the sitcom Amen. Sherman died on July 24, 2012 at the age of 74 from lung cancer. Louise Jefferson was played by Isabel Sanford. Isabel also starred in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner and Lady Sings the Blues and is the first black actress to win an Emmy for lead actress. She starred in the successful sitcom The Jeffersons and continued to act on stage and screen in other roles. Isabel died on July 9, 2004 at the age of 86 from cardiac arrest and heart disease. Lionel was played by Mike Evans. Mike was the co-creator of the sitcom Good Times and a real estate investor. Mike died on December 14, 2006 at the age of 57 from throat cancer. Henry Jefferson was played by Mel Stewart. Mel was an actor of stage and screen, director, and musician. Mel died on February 24, 2002 at the age of 72 from Alzheimer's disease. Maud was played by B. Arthur. B. was a singer and actor whose career spanned seven decades. 
She had her own show called Maud and later starred in The Golden Girls. B died on April 25, 2009 at the age of 86 from cancer. Irene was played by Betty Garrett. Betty was a singer, dancer, and actor. She also had roles in Laverne and Shirley and acted on Broadway. Betty died on February 12, 2011 at the age of 91 from an aortic aneurysm. Frank Lorenzo was played by Vincent Cardinia. Vincent was a stage, film, and TV actor. He was nominated for an Academy Award for his performances in the movies Bang the Drum Slowly and Moonstruck. Vincent died on December 9, 1992 at the age of 72 from a heart attack. Harry Snowden was played by Jason Wingreen. Jason was the original voice for Boba Fett in 1980 and continued acting until his retirement in 1994. Jason died at the age of 95 at his home on December 25, 2015. Barney Hefner was played by Alan Melvin. Alan was an actor who appeared on numerous shows including The Brady Bunch. Alan died on January 17, 2008 at the age of 84 from cancer. Stephanie Mills was played by Danielle Brisebois. Danielle also starred in the spin-off Archie Bunker's Place and acted in the Broadway play Annie. Danielle retired from acting in the 1980s and moved to singing and songwriting. Danielle is 51 and continues to focus on producing and writing music. Thank you for watching. Please, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video.